Hey, Gary, the arena guy here outside Nationwide Arena where we're talking to some of the diehard 21 Pilots fans getting ready for doors to open in just a little bit. And uh, who am I talking to here? Uh, I'm Liam. And I'm Seamus. And where are you guys from? Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me, how excited are you today? I'm very excited. I haven't seen them in uh, since October, so I need to get my 21 Pilots filled. <laughs> and so you came all the way from Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, we, we drove up Thursday, um, probably midday. It took us about yeah. three or four hours. We got here around 8-ish, 9-ish. Cool. So, so you're in a band and everything. You know, when you listen to the music at 21 Pilots, do they inspire what you do with your band? Yeah, I think especially one of the biggest pulls that I personally have from them, from, like, playing, is, like, just watching, you know, how they perform live and, like, the way they even approach songwriting. Like, they think about the live show as they're writing the music right. and like you know when we're in practice i envision ways that the crowd would react to certain things that we do i mean sonically we're a little different because uh we're a little bit more a little bit more rock a little bit more of that genre but like there's definitely a lot of inspiration in there for me personally awesome so what is it for from your standpoint what, what is it about 21 Pilots that made you come all the way from Louisville, Kentucky, spend a few nights here in Columbus, Ohio? Well, um, I've been listening to 21 Pilots since I was in, like, sixth grade. So I've always, I've kind of, it's been like a coming-of-age story, and they've just been the soundtrack to my life. And Tyler Joseph writes lyrics that are just so relatable. And like my brother said, like, he inspires me because I write music, and, uh, you know, he's just an amazing songwriter and yeah and it's totally worth the trip and their live performances are unbelievable like this is the sixth time we've seen them wow. and every time it's something different and something new so uh, you you actually these guys are your musical heroes you actually met yeah. them last time they were in columbus tell me about that experience yeah we were at artopia my brother's wallet got stolen and so we found a security guard and they called down and we went down there and they opened up the wallet and all of our money was taken and he was like all right guys y'all have had a bad day you know I'm gonna let you in on something like y'all do not want to leave and we're like okay we'll take your word for it and then they locked the doors and Tyler and Josh came out and we're like hey guys and it was, it was amazing like I was speechless when I went up to see them and they're like come on don't hold up the line and we're like oh my god it's you guys so what did what did meeting them mean to you well it was extremely like unexpected at the at the time and it was kind of like one of those things where it was it was in a setting of like a meet and greet where there was a lot of people so it was like it also went by really fast but it was just a it was kind of one of those moments that i had to like just slow down and take in even yeah. though it was really right. really fast paced cool. very cool so before we go i want to hear about your shirts there's a, a pop-up store on high street called ned's bayou right and you both have a couple of shirts that say Ned on them. Tell me what these shirts mean. Um, well, Ned is a character created by 21 Pilots that I think is supposed to represent, like, the good. Like, you got Blurry Face, which is kind of like this anxiety figure that is supposed to be, like, more darker. And then there's Ned, which is, like, an optimistic, like, uh, like he's always there for you type of dude. And so they opened up Ned's Bayou after releasing their Chlorine music video. And it's just Ned. It's yeah. just, and uh, you got a net shirt too. It looks pretty cool. I do. Yeah, yeah. got it. Some fine pool yeah, some fine <laughs> pool equipment. And they don't sell T-shirts to say 21 Pilots. Just Ned, correct? Yeah, not at Ned's Bayou. They don't sell yeah. any of the 21 Pilots so merch. It's kind of like an inside joke in a way. Almost, I guess. Yeah, because a lot of people, I guess, if they're just like casual listeners of like the top 40 radio, they wouldn't <laughs> get it. But like, but we all, we all love it. Cool. So tell me, uh, before we go, your yellow braid. Oh, yeah. So they were handing out yellow braids, and I just put it in my hair. I, I, I mean, my earring. I haven't seen anyone do it. It kind of looks like a braid, but I look like Anakin from Star Wars, but that's okay. And uh, how much are you looking forward to tonight? I'm so excited. Yeah. I can't wait. I don't. You never know what to expect when they come to Columbus because it's their hometown, so they always do something a little, a little special. Yeah. Thank you, Arena Guy. It was great talking to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yep. And what are you looking forward to tonight? Um, I'm 
yeah, just excited to see some of the songs from Trench, I guess, that I haven't seen live. Awesome. But yeah, good talk to you, Arena awesome. Guy. Thank you, and uh, you know what? You guys have the best time, all right, man? Yes, thank you. All right. We'll see you later. Have fun.